Thanks to the Home Depot Seeds program, we're going to be looking at the Pyramid Home Decor Coral Collection Square Fire Pit. Opening the box, we see what appears to be the four metal sides to it. The neat thing about this pit is that it claims that you can not only burn, but you can grill with it. So actually makes it more useful than just something to, you know, stay warm on a chilly night while you're out with friends. Um, you can actually cook something. Here is the grill. Underneath that, we have a cover that you use to protect it since it's going to be outside. A hook for moving your wood or your coals around. And lots of little parts to put it all together with. One sheet of instructions. This is the top that goes over it that keeps, you know, sparks from flying out so you don't burn down the neighborhood. And finally, the pit itself. And some more parts underneath it. So we'll go through the instructions. The pit, I believe, is vented. Uh, I can't see that. Um, yes, there are little holes. There are four little holes. And then this piece of metal is over it, so it vents through the sides so the ashes don't fall through. Let's see what it takes to put this together. First thing we do is take everything out of the box and then flatten out the box so we can lay down the top frame. That's the one that has this pattern on it. Put it upside down and what you'll notice is there are four holes on one side. This mates to the metal part that comes out that has four holes in it. And they just overlap. You do the same thing for each side until you form a rectangle. They're going to use this bolt and it has its own key so that you can attach four bolts to each section. I'm going to use a T25 just to speed the process up a little bit. I find it useful just to pour in all the parts into a container so that they're easy to reach and they don't wander off. We finger thread each of the bolts because if you try using a driver at this point, you could cross thread and that would be a bad thing. So this ensures that they catch correctly before you apply any power to it. This tool is set at a three. It'll probably vary on your uh, particular driver. As you make your way around, when you come to the end, this will probably won't line up nicely. So one tip is don't tighten these all the way down. Leave them a little loose so that you have some play here because you're going to need just a little flexing to get these screws in. And again, you want to do these by hand so that you don't cross thread anything. I'm going to have to push this piece of metal further in so that falls into place. But it shouldn't be too difficult. Just make sure you don't tighten down all the other ones so you have some play. With our final four bolts in place, we tighten them down. Now we move on to what look like miniature ladders. These are the side rails. There's two sets of these and they're going to mate with the four legs, the support legs. So get the support end, the base of it down. 
get one at the opposite end, take one of your rails, and then just flip it over so that the sharp edge side is going to be facing inside the pit so nobody can see it. And there's a hole here. There's going to be one there. Same over there, same over there. You're going to get your bolt and nut. Bolt should be on the outside coming in so that the nut is hiding on the inside. Again, triangular is going to give you a hint as to which way this is going in to the inside. You're going to have another rail coming up this way. And we're basically going to create a box. I find if you put the bolt through the bottom piece first, since that's laying on the ground, the bolts aren't going anywhere. You put your piece over it, and now you're ready to apply the nut. And at this point, I wouldn't tighten anything down. I would just snug it up because you want to get all these sides to line up and to look straight. A word of warning as you assemble this, this metal is pretty thin, so just be careful that you don't lean against it or push it too hard because you could flex it out of uh, shape. After 16 nuts and bolts, you should have another rectangle and again this sharper side is facing to the inside so the outside is smooth you have bolts on the outside nuts on the inside your support legs are all in the same position so now we're ready to take this take this end of it away from the support Take this end of it and place it on the top frame and you see these holes you're gonna put guess what another bolt and that's gonna secure the legs to the top frame and we're almost done we're gonna hand thread these on then once I have all four of these in place, I will tighten these down. Once these are tightened down, then I will tighten all the other 16 nuts on the support legs. With the legs secured to the top frame and all the bolts and nuts tightened together everywhere, you should have something that looks like this. One concern I already have is the fact that there's this is just sheet metal bent over for the bottom support and I really think there should have been a pad or something here to give it uh, a little bit more strength you know in case you drag this across brick pavement whatever soil um, just a little disappointed in that thought this could have been beefed up a little bit more instead of just folded over metal the next step is to take this and flip it over so we can insert the bowl. Voila! The table is turned over. We take our fire bowl and just place it on top. Now we need to put our wood grate in next. Now according to the instructions, the log grate is supposedly this, but in the instructions it says only chrome plated cooking grid is intended for cooking. Log grade is not intended for cooking and should not be used for this purpose. This looks chrome. It had stated in the ad that you could cook with this. So I'm not sure if this is just strictly for wood or if I can cook on this. If it's for wood, I think it's a bit too high, but there's no other material included with this kit except this. And when you look out at the call out of parts, there is no other, there's not a grill, it's just a wood grate, that's all they give you. So perhaps this is the wood grate and we cannot use this for cooking even though it is chrome plated. 
last thing to do is attach this ring to the mesh lid. It only requires one bolt, you do it from the underside, and then assembly is done. Well, it's a little disconcerting that I have nine bolts and one nut left over. There's nowhere for them to go. So this is the unit assembled. First impressions are, while it looks good from a distance, close up, there are spots where paint is missing. In some places, the paint has dripped. The finish, not that great. S metal tends to bend easily. This probably occurred during shipment. Interesting that in the fire pit, there's that, that, this one over here, and one more. And while maybe some dents can be expected because it's shipped, I'm just surprised at the number of them and the apparent lack of quality control as far as painting and scratches and spots. The pointed corners of the mesh, when placed into the fire pit, are going to eventually scratch and damage the finish. Again with the finish, and you know, slight blemish there, probably once again due to shipment. Still, uh, that's due to the fact that this is rather thin metal. I mean. You know, there's not much force being applied, so it gives. So I don't know that this will be long term. The metal for the actual fire pit is thicker than the frame metal. So hopefully that means that this won't be rusting out or burning through in short order. I do like the cover. It goes all the way around. It actually fits, it goes down to the ground, and should protect your fire pit from getting dirty and rained on. Of course, make sure it's thoroughly cooled off before you put this on, otherwise you'll just have something else that's burning. You have a fire poker that you could store inside underneath this when not in use. I was mistaken earlier when I said charcoal. Can't use charcoal in this, it's just strictly wood. Actually, they don't want you using anything else but wood in this. Strange, because in the product overview, it says, create a pleasant atmosphere, barbecue your favorite foods. Maybe they only mean marshmallows. My impression of the cover was short-lived as when I went to put it on the second time, the corner of it just cut right through the bag. Wow, so not all that protective, is it? Not really impressed with the build quality on this unit. I don't think it's designed for long life. I also have concerns between what the online product description is and what the manual says. Online, it tells us that you can use wood and coal. The manual says no, it's a wood only. We're told, depending on where you read on the product description, that it's steel and iron. It's totally a steel product. The grate, if it's chrome, you can grill on it. Okay, so do we need a wood grate? Well, it doesn't say, so that's all confusing. And then, you know, just overall, the metal is really thin on this. It's a poor finish. There are parts that are scratched, dented, missing paint. The legs are just stamped and folded over with no real base. So overall, I just don't find this a product that I can recommend to anyone, at least not at this price. If you found this video useful or interesting, give us a thumbs up, leave us a comment, join our subscription team, and as always, thank you ever so much for watching.